Hello, world. Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Dreamland Acres. I'm John. I'm Nicole. And today we're going to be working down on the pad today. So we got all the rock delivered. We're going to level it up and we're going to be using the new Spectra Precision Laser, the HV101. So we're going to try that out. Nicole's got to do some. What are you doing down there? Uh, we're going to reorganize the garage. So um, when we moved here, we just. No, on the orchard. Oh. Spreading some of the mulch that we had to move really quickly. Um, and yeah, we then, piled some up at the front of the blueberries. So we got that. Yep, so we got a lot to do. And I'm going to organize the garage too this morning. Yeah. First, I got to load up everything down on UTV, get down on the pad. We got to gas everything up, fuel everything up and move so, uh, all the implements that are down there without connecting them to the three point. So it's gonna be interesting. Don't wanna miss it, stay tuned. All right, so I'm just getting down here to the uh, UTV here. Oh. One thing we do in the evenings, and we don't really show this, is we go out and water the orchard every day or every couple days. So I'll show you what we use for that. We never really did an unboxing video on it. So this is what we use for our watering. So this is our country way uh, 40 gallon tank that we use. It's very simple to hook up to the UTV. There's only two clips that go to the battery. There's an on off switch that uh, is in the back seat. Well, it, it only reaches to the back seat. and But it does a great job for what we need it for. Fits right in the back of the UTV. And it really wasn't that expensive. Check them out over at the local Rural King. All right, everything's loaded down there. Hey everyone, we just want to thank everybody for watching. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. For all of our current subscribers and viewers, thanks for coming back and watching the videos. One thing that we did notice though, is while we were going through the analytics, 90% of our viewers are not subscribed. So hey, why don't you right now, I'll give you a second, just go down there, tap that subscribe button. This way, uh, you get updates on all of our future videos, and it really helps our channel out a lot. Not to mention, it's free! Go ahead, do it right now, I'll wait. Okay, on with the video. Hey everyone, so now we're down here on the pad area, and um, first things first, we gotta put some fuel in it. All right, so we got everything fueled up, and I'm in the cab right now. I just got to put this here GoPro up behind me here. So this way everybody else can get a good view of what I see. Trying to get this darn thing set up. Phew. Okay, I think that just about does it. Okay, everybody. For now, on Starship Big Red. We're going to go drop the bucket now, so then we can go pick up the grapple. Okay, so this is the first time we're going to shoot this using the active track on the DJI. Hopefully it tracks the tractor and not me.
are. They've got to kind of be level. And see, we're going to be picking that up on an angle. So it ain't going to work like that. we got to get it flat. So it's kind of flat in front of us here. Um... go set this down here. We'll go drop this right here somewhere. All right, that's dropped off. All right, let's go pick up the pitchforks. forks. Now I've got to go out and attach the uh, skid steer attach. was successfully able to move all the implements hopefully you're able to see some good footage from inside the tractor uh, and now we'll show you the yard uh, the way it looks now so we've got everything removed out of here the only thing I got to do now is get back down here uh, I want to take the forks off the front of the tractor we got to hook the bucket back up and then we will be able to get our laser level out we could check the level on a couple spots and see what we got to adjust. So let's get started. Okay, so we're back at you. We moved the UTV around a little bit um, to give you, well, so I could get in the shade actually. We're going to show you the Spectra HV 101. So let's go take a look, see what's inside the box. Okay, so in the box here, we've got some goodies. Uh, this is going to be what we're going to attach to the grading stick. So this right here, is the unit itself this is the laser level plum laser it does a bunch of different stuff uh, right here this is our stand this is our grading stick right here all right so and then it also get a nice handy remote uh, we're gonna move the camera back a little bit so you get a more broad picture of how this thing actually goes together so we can show you how to use it so we have our level stick right here uh, this is what we're going to attach this to. Okay, so the level stick on this side is graded in feet all the way up, I believe, to 15 feet is the highest. Now, this is what I don't understand on the other side. It goes from 1 foot, 2 foot, 3 foot to 15 feet, 14 feet, 13 feet. If somebody can tell me why that is on the other side, maybe it's for measuring something in the other direction. I'm, I'm not sure, but uh, somebody can tell me, pop it down in the comments. I'd like to know. Uh, we're going to be mounting it on our stand right here and attach. When you're setting this up, you don't want it to be in the way of anything. Okay, so now that we've got the uh, laser level in the ground and attached. I'm going to show you the screen display and So here's what we've got on the screen display here uh, We're going to hit the on button and Now it's going to start ramping up at this point It can take up to five minutes so that it can get its level uh, Set once it gets its level set the unit's going to start spinning throwing out a beam and then we're going to take our laser over there and see where we are. So it's actually just started spinning. So you can see in there, the unit's now spinning. So we're ready to go.
Okay, well that was a lot of back and forth, I'll tell you that. Uh, but, I think it looks fantastic now. It was dipping off over there to the side a little bit. It wasn't too flat, I wasn't happy with it. Uh, but now, it's, it's really, really nice. So now the tricky part is, get all the implements that we put out on the apron area, and we gotta bring them all back. Then, we have to finish flattening out the apron area. So, I think the only implement that might be a little bit tricky to get back here is going to be the bush hog. So, let's see how that goes. I might be able to push it back. I don't know. So, let's see how that's going to work. Okay, so I was able to, actually I got the forks underneath of the thing and we're moving it like that. We are moving it. I hope it doesn't damage anything underneath. I did check, the blades are all the way in the back. So hopefully uh, we didn't uh, pinch anything. But we're gonna get it back here. We're moving at a snail pace, just so we don't wreck anything. So hopefully uh, we should be good right around here. So we finished up leveling the uh, apron area out here. I must say it turned out a lot better than it was. Um, I didn't have enough time the other day to uh, flatten it out really nice. Today's a gorgeous day as you can see. So I figured what better way to be outside today and get this done. And uh, good thing is I got an air conditioned cab so I don't have to be out here in the heat. So let's show you uh, what the pad looks like now. I had to kind of put everything in backwards so I didn't know exactly how how they were all gonna uh, line up so now that they're in I can once I get ready to I can kind of put them where I need to so now we've got the pad area good enough so that we can take off the backhoe when we're ready so when the time comes we'll be taking that backhoe off again we're gonna be getting pretty good at that I hope uh, you enjoy all the footage uh, that I've got from inside the cab and um, I've been trying to really give you guys a good view at what we're doing here and put up cameras in multiple spots to try to help you really get the full perspective of what we're doing. So I think I'm done for right now. I'm going to just pick up everything, uh, get all the camera equipment because I'm by myself today and uh, load everything back up in the UTV and we'll head up back up at the house, see what Nicole and her dad been getting into. They really wanted to uh, clean out the garage a little bit because we've got our stuff everywhere. So I thought a cool view would be to put this thing way up in the trailer. The lengths we go to to get good shots for everybody. All right, we got all the cameras. Let's get back to the house. Let's see what Nicole's been up to. So we're down here at the garage and Nicole and her dad have been working uh, like gangbusters in here to get everything clean. So let's show you real quick. So now we got everything. This whole area over here used to be full. Yep. How long have you been working on this thing? Since nine. Nine o'clock. I think it's like one something, two something. Yep. 
So no, no time where we live. So we got a lot done today. They got the garage done, got the parking pad completed. The only thing we didn't do yet is the uh, mulching, and it's still it's hot out right no, now. No, I wouldn't do that now. It's That's too tonight hot. Tonight or tomorrow night when I go water. So oh, and we're making a chicken pot pie tonight. Oh yeah. Oh, I need homemade that. chicken pot pie. Put them on the grill. So we're gonna be putting them on the grill. Our uh, our own chicken that we harvested last year. Uh, or Cornish Cross. That our friend Josh helped us yep. um, process it. We'll be eating some of it tonight. We brined it overnight and I'm uh, going to throw it on the grill and we're going to make an awesome chicken pot pie today. So, you want to wrap up the video? Alright. Okay, I think we're going to wrap the video up now. So, thanks everybody for joining us today. Again, if you're new, welcome. We appreciate all the new supporters. And for all our current supporters, we really appreciate you coming back and watching all of our videos. It really helps out the channel. And hey, if it's not too much, hit that thumbs up button and click subscribe. Tick the little bell to get notified on future videos. We'll see you on the next one. See ya.